This is Olivia Wells interviewing Kay Martin for the Oral History Project for the Marshall Public Library. Kay, when and where were you born? I was born in um, Clark County, which uh, was I at my farmhouse where mm-hmm. my mother and dad lived. I was born at home, uh, south of McKean, or north of where Welch's farm is at. Okay. Where did you live as a kid, and how long have you lived there? How long did you live there? Oh, I lived there from the time I was born until I got married. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then who were your parents and your siblings? Okay, my parents were uh, Garland and Opal Ingalls. My mother's name was not changed because she was from Arkansas, and uh, my dad was from Terre Haute, Indiana, and... He went down, and um, so her name, Ingalls, was not changed. She was in Ingalls before she was married. Okay. My siblings are, um, uh, I had a sister, uh, Edith, who graduated in 1950 from Marshall High School, and she died at 37 years old. Um, And then my second sister is Jeanette. Uh, She graduated with the class of 55. And then my sister, Karen, she graduated with the class of 60. Okay. What was your neighborhood like? It was a rural community. Everybody had farm animals. Everybody had their own gardens. Um, Everybody cut hay in the summertime. Um, And back when I was a kid, uh, we shelled corn. Uh, You you shucked it by hand rather than have these big machineries. I never had to shuck corn, but I know I watched my mom and dad do it many a times. And how did it has it changed at all since you lived there? Oh yes, it's changed. The house has changed completely. Um, the trees are all cut down, and um, uh, there's still farmers around there, but they've all got uh, big equipment, up to date. The new stuff. Mm-hmm. New stuff. Okay. And what kind of chores did you do around the house or on the farm? Things like that. Well. I um, when I got o- old enough to do the farm work, uh, we had electric milkers then. My sisters had to milk by hand, but I got to use electric milkers. And um, we had chickens to feed, uh, cows to bring up from the bottoms. Um, I, my mother was working as I got older, she was working. So I had to fix supper at night when I came, uh, when I got off school, off the school bus, I had to, uh, fix supper for the family. Uh, but mostly, and mow grass, but mostly just chickens and, um, cows we had. And we did have pigs later on. Okay. And another thing we talked about was how, some families had certain days that they did things, like Monday was laundry day, Tuesday they baked bread. Did you guys do anything like that? I think my mother did, uh, but she worked, so maybe not every Monday, but I think it seemed like on a Saturdays was her wash day, and of course she didn't have an electric washer. She just had a uh, one of the old-fashioned washers that had an agitator in it, and then she had to run, run everything through the um, ringer. It was a ringer washer she had. And then, of course, we hung everything on the line, uh, clothes lines, because we didn't have dryer, didn't have a clothes dryer. So uh, I would say maybe when I was younger, Monday was the wash day. But then I think it changed as I got older. Okay. And what were your favorite things to cook for when you cooked dinner? What did you like to make? Oh, um... I say I use I used the hot plate more than I did the stove, and um, right now I can't think of anything particular that I cooked. But I do I do know when I was younger I did not do no baking or anything like that. I just made I just fixed meals. But I can't tell you right now what we fixed. Okay. <laughs> do you remember your favorite thing to eat as a kid? What your favorite snacks what, were? Well, I know one thing I liked was. Uh, was burnt hot dogs. When I was uh, going to school in um, Denison, I'd, I'd come home and I'd say, well, this girl had a, a hot dog that was black. And how do you make those hot dogs black? Well, I found out they were fried. Oh. So, so for my lunch, I do remember eating fried hot dogs. 
Okay. Cold hot fried hot dogs. Cold fried hot dogs. Okay. <laughs> and where did you go to school at? Um, my first three years, I went to Denison School. It was a one school uh, schoolhouse. Um, we had first, second, and third grade there. And then from there, I was uh, I came to South School. And uh, so I went there fourth, fifth, and sixth, and then junior high, and then high school. Okay. Do you have any fond memories of going to school? Anything you remember in particular? Um, I was going to say, at, um, at Denison School, of course, we did not have indoor bathrooms. Everybody had to go outside and use the outhouses. And they was, um, oh, I'm saying maybe 10 kids in each class, maybe 12, 15 at the most, first, second, and third grade each. Um, and, of course, with me being a farm girl, um, I never came in town much. Uh, and uh, coming to school in town with different kids and more kids, that was an experience. Okay. Um, what did you do for fun as a kid? Did you run around with other neighborhood kids? Did you play games? Um, no, we just maybe took turns going to one, one another's house because uh, there was just one car in the family, and um, us kids just wasn't allowed to run around. Mother was not there to take us, or my dad was to take us places, so we just kind of hung around with the neighborhood kids out in the country. And um, then we had a creek that we would play in uh, south of the house. Uh, we would do that and, um, and just ride our bicycles and, and help around the house. Okay. And then, as you grew older, what was dating like for you? So were you allowed? I know a lot of people weren't allowed to date or things mm -hmm. like that. Um, our first date, my first date, I guess, was the GAA Christmas dance. And I probably was 15. I know Dean did not have his license at that time. So his dad, him and his dad came, picked me up, and then his dad came and got us at the old gym and then um, brought us home and um, but no I wasn't really allowed to go any place until I was 16 or 17 years old okay and then when and where did you get married we got married at Armstrong Church in um, 1964 um, in November it was very cold um, and that was at the old church, and then we had the reception downstairs then. Did you make your dress, or did you buy it, or did I you bought wear it. a dress? You bought it? I bought it in Terre Haute. Uh -huh. Okay. That's when all the stores was downtown. Okay. And then, do you remember your first job? Maybe not around the farm, but your first job that you got paid for? Probably was when I was a junior in high school. I was uh, in the, um, oh my gosh, what was it called? Um office occupational class anyway where you go to school half a day and and work a half a day and I worked a half a day at Petrolane and the, it was located on Arch Avenue at that time and then my senior year I worked at uh, TRW half a day and went to school half a day okay and then as you continue your career where have where else have you worked up until now well um uh when Dean was um in the service station up at Great Lakes, I worked up at uh, Waukegan, Illinois, in a big office. And uh, that's when they could smoke in the office. And I know my boss had wore, she was very petite, but she wore real high shoes, high, sh uh, high heels. And, then, and she smoked all the time. I can remember that. <laughs> uh, I did not work when Dean went to uh, North Carolina. When he was stationed out there, I did not work there. The year he was in Vietnam... I worked at Burnside's, and um, I've uh, most recently, uh, Dean and I had the Lincoln Trail Family Restaurant. This will be our third season for that, and then I'm, I've been a caregiver for a number of years, and I worked at McDonald's, but I've worked since I was 16. 
doing something. So you like to keep yourself busy. Then. Yes, I like to be busy. Well, good. Um, do you remember any historical events that have been nationwide that you mm -hmm. that occurred during your mm -hmm. childhood? I remember when uh, John F. Kennedy was shot. I remember that. Uh, I was at home uh, on the farm. Um, we was in Alabama. I was. I think my husband, I think Dean was up in Illinois at that time, but I was still in Alabama when um, <laughs> Are you drawing a blank? Yes. <laughs> okay. What was uh, what was happening out in Washington? 9/11. Yeah, when 9/11 happened, I was in and I know my husband Dean called me and he says, "Have you heard about it?" and the secretary's desk that I was at asked me what she had, what I had heard because she had heard it too. So I remember 9/11 when when I was living in Alabama. Okay. Mhm. Mm and then, do you have any children? Yes, we have two. We have Melissa K. and we have Robert G. Okay. And then, what about grandchildren? We have three grandchildren. We have Patrick Wells, who is a sophomore. Uh, in college, and we have a granddaughter, Olivia Wells, who's a senior this year in high school, and we and she's got a younger brother, Ryan, who is just turned 16, got his license, and um, he's a sophomore this year. Okay. And then, what of the new, um, maybe modern technologies have affected your life the most? Like, maybe the invention of cell phones? What are some things that have really changed drastically like that? Um, I was thinking of, of the cell phone. I just can't believe how we, how we got along before without a cell phone, because you see everybody with one in their hands now. I know I didn't get one until, um, we was living in Alabama, and I was making, uh, trips, solo trips back to Marshall, uh, to take care of my mother, and, um, Dean said, you've got to have a phone, just, if nothing else, just for emergencies. So my first cell phone was supposed to have been for emergencies only, and I finally, I still don't have an up-to-date one. I don't have a fancy one, but I just use it for um, calls and um, and just to hear from if someone needs me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what were some of the fashion trends like when you were maybe in high school or your mm. young college years? Well, um there wasn't such thing as jeans. There wasn't such things as shorts or slacks in schools. You wore a dress or a skirt and blouse. That was all the way through high school, I believe. I don't believe we could wear shorts or... So that was, that dress trend was all the way through school. Um, and, of course, kids didn't have cars back then like they do now. Um... I see. I was going to say, um, I don't even think we had that many. I don't even think we wore tennis shoes. I think we just wore regular school shoes. Um, maybe that buckled or maybe that tied or something. But I think most of them just had buckles. But um, So no shorts, no slacks back then. Only dresses. Okay. Do you have any other stories? Anything that you feel like sharing? What topic? <laughs> Let me think. What was some of the material like that you learned in school? Was it very difficult? Was it... Um, just back then, I don't even think they had such thing as college courses. And I know junior high um, was like the this, this really smart kids was always in one class... And they would tr change back and forth to the same classes. And then they had the ones that maybe were just the average students. And then they had the ones that was maybe um, needed some extra help. But the classes was divided on how smart you were. Okay. The junior high classes was like that. Okay. See, so uh -huh. ours is a little different now. We're all spread throughout. Right. Uh-huh. And then, of course, we, you know, I, you've got a lot of college uh, classes now that's, that the kids has a choice of, and that's right. good. Because back in our, my time, very few people went to college. 
like if your parents didn't go to college, then then they didn't suggest you go or they didn't um, think about you even going because they didn't have the chance of going and they didn't have the money to send kids. Mm -hmm. So I guess the kids that got to go to college back then was um, their folks was really rich as far as farmers and they might have been scholarships back then, but I do not recall any. Okay. That that was offered to the students. Okay. Um, do you? Oh, another thing I was going to ask you: What are um, some of the big changes in prices now? Like a gallon of milk now could be around four dollars, and a gallon of gas is about a fit one fifty uh -huh. right now. Oh my, I can remember my prices was really low. I wish I had, I've got a piece of paper here around here somewhere that I just gotten from the extension group, I think it was. And um, I forget what year that was in, but oh, I can remember bread being 29 cents a loaf. Um, I can remember, um, well, I tell you what, when the first McDonald's came to Terre Haute, Indiana, um, I think French fries was... Um, maybe 12 cents and I think the hamburger was maybe 29 but that might be high for a hamburger but anyway um I, I do remember the first um McDonald's that went that got came to Terre Haute and mm -hmm. the prices was really cheap and all of those french fries was so good because we just there just wasn't such a thing as um, fast food places right when McDonald's came so that was our first and I say the first and only one over there for a while okay mm-hmm Okay. Well, thank you for talking to me. Well, you're just most welcome. And once again, this is Olivia Wells interviewing Kay Martin for the Oral History Project for Marshall Public Library.